Hello everyone, welcome to another Arknights video. This is my first voice video for Arknights and hopefully I will be able to do more voice videos like this in the future. So a new update just dropped a few days ago and the game adds new modules to Charger Vanguards and Swordmaster Guards. One of them is Cutter and we will talk about how to unlock it. First, your operator must reach Elite 2 to access the module interface. This menu will show you the changes when you apply a module. From there you can see the requirements to unlock a module, in this case it's replaceable toolset. The requirements are levels, trust, and materials. In addition, there are some missions to complete to unlock that module. For Cardus module, there are two missions. The first is to clear five stages, where in each stage, Carter must destroy at least three drones. The second is a bit more specific. You have to clear 2-7 with three stars, use Carter's skill 2, Crimson Crescent, to destroy at least two out of the three defender four drones. You know those drones that gives enemy defense buffs? And because they are drones, they count towards being a drone, and therefore they count towards completing the first mission. One thing to note here is that you cannot use someone else's cutter, you must use your own. Now as the mission says, we will do 2-7, but we will do 2-7 to clear both missions at the same time. And a quick story recap here. Misha had a chronic of infection and must be brought for care immediately. Meanwhile, we need members of attacking Longman Slums where the infected reside and Wolf's Island must stop them. Here I will show you the minimum required operators to clear the missions. But first, let me just clear this list so that we can start clean. The first operator, obviously, is Cutter. I recommend her to be at Trust 100, but if she's lower the Trust 100, you might need to level her up, up a, a little bit more than the level numbers that I will mention to you later. The skill to use here is Skill 2, Crimson Crescent. Mine here is M3. It helps a lot with masteries, but, but, but with level 7, it should be fine. If you're using skill 2 level 7 though, and if you have trust 100, Cutter must be at least level 21. If you have mastery 1 on skill 2, at least level 6 would do. And, and again, if you don't have enough trust, you could just level her up a little bit. Maybe bring her up to level 20 or 30, mine here is level 40, because that is the requirement. <laughs> Leave it to me. Where's the rally point? Anira. Ready whenever. We bring in friends? Already. Next up, we need two Fang Gods to open up the game. Here I'm using Fang and Vanilla because they have DP skill. I recommend using Pioneer Fang Gods because we have to deal with initial rush of enemies. Next, we're gonna need some medics. One medic in particular I recommend is Ansel because he has the range to cover further and, and I will explain why in just a moment and and then you're gonna need another medic here i use hibiscus but you can use any other medic that you want and next we're gonna need a pusher here i use shaw with skill level four skill one level four you can also use feeder or weedy but they also must be at skill level four because of the moderate push that, that they give next we're going to need two defenders here i use noir and beagle if you have Guardian Defender, a healing defender like Gummy or Spot, you can skip bringing one medic and just bring Ansel and then bring Gummy or Spot. Sabia will also work here, but that is your call. And finally, two DPS of any kind. Here I have a Marksman Sniper and a Recaster, Cruise and Lava. Well, that is the roster, and now let us jump into the level. First stop, open up with two vanguards in position in both ends of the map. Why can't everyone try to get along? And once we have enough DP, we can start placing DPS on the right side. And if using Magnus Sniper, don't put them on the on the bottom, facing up. Place them on the top, facing bottom instead. Activate your Fangard skill needed and, and put Shard to help clean up the left side. Uh 
and and then at this point you can add add more DPS and and add your medics. Here we go. We place Ansel over here, facing left, Ready to heal. so that he will reach, which, so that he will reach the middle area right there. And then add another medic if you are not you if you are not going to use a guardian defender. And once we have enough DP, you can place Cutter in the middle, facing down. You can also aim, aim, let, let her face up, but I recommend facing down so, so that she can. Get more SP from there. And finally, you can replace your fan guard with your defenders once, once necessary. And if you are, are, are worried that that, that card is low on HP, you can just activate Ansel skill. Now just wait for both defender drones to reach Cutter's range and then activate her skill. Make sure to take note of her attack range so that her skill will 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 hit both of the drones. And for him, we're just gonna wait until another defender drone reaches Cutter's range. Don't forget to activate skills, skills if you can need them. Once another defender drone enters cut cutters skill range, activate it. There we go. And with that you clear three drones that were fulfilling the first mission and then you also clear the second mission by defeating not two but three of, of those defender drones. All you need now is to do them a few more times and, and you can also use auto deploy to help you out and it will also count. And, and now you can see that that listing says mission accomplished. That means the mission requirements is fulfilled and, uh, and all you need to do is to fulfill the materials, levels and trust requirements. Right now I'm on trust 94 so yeah I'll come back once Kada trusts me uh, just a bit more. Just six points left. I'll be right back. <laughs> 